Hello everybody, welcome back to Stoneheart with me, Bantos, back here with Alpha 14. And uh, we got one house gone, we still need to, you know, know move beds in and such. But uh, I think before we do anything with that, we can start a new building product, so we can do many things at the same time in this game. And I mean, that do help out a bunch in this game, because there are so many things that you need to do in this game. And try to do many at the same time is a good idea in my opinion. So let's check out if we're gonna be the daily update. I'm not sure if we're gonna do it or not. Okay, we did miss we did miss the food. But you see the net worth? The net worth is really, really good. So that's nice. So we should get going with this new house. So we need to definitely have, you know, more spaces where we, uh, people are gonna be able to have their own beds and where they're gonna live and so on. So I'm gonna make another new house. I'm gonna make it right next to this one. I don't think I'm gonna make it look like this one. We're gonna make it look a little bit different. So this is gonna be a little bit like, you know, a little bit longer than this house is. So I think it's gonna be about the deck to length. It should be pretty good. And uh, then we're gonna have walls for this. I'm gonna go for the normal white ones. I'm gonna keep like the same theme as we got going here. And then we're gonna do like with this house, you know, so as you see it's pointing out like this. But for this house we're gonna make it point out, uh, I think we're gonna make it point out in every direction actually. So I made houses similar to this before, and I think they look really really nice. I think I got the suggestion the first time when I was uh, doing a live stream with Stonehearth, which I might do pretty soon again, since I will probably have a lot more time pretty soon. So that should allow me to do some live streaming, and maybe you guys can come and join in the live and talk to me directly and so on, and that, that would be really really fun, so. So let's see here, we're gonna have it, in, I think this way should be the best looking one. So that looks pretty good. We gotta increase the, uh, the height a little bit on roof. So I think that looks a little bit better. So this time I'm gonna go a little bit different. Uh, I'm gonna start to design... I think I'm gonna start to, you know, design the top of the house instead. So this window looks pretty good. I'm not sure if this one might look better. I think I will keep one window up here in the top. And same for that side. And I really want to see how it's how it's gonna look if I you know if I put out tons of windows really close to each other. I just want to see how it looks if I go like this, for example. And we can go for the same way for the other side. Maybe even three windows like that. And we can see if we can put three together here. So that actually that actually do work. So maybe we should go and give that a try. I've never done like with this many windows. The first time I kind of like got an idea to even try it was uh, you know with the Rise Children. They have some pre-made houses that uh, have a lot of windows really close to each other. And that kind of got me started with uh, this ID. But we, what we gotta think about is that, you know, we're also gonna have like a stair on the inside, which we will make like after we've done the two different floors here. But uh, we still gotta think about that so we have enough space for that later on. So for this side, I'm not, I'm not sure how many windows should we have here. Should we have it like this maybe? I think that's pretty good. So let's go for the same way for this side. I think I will make the stairs along this like wall here. I think that should be pretty good. There we go with that. And uh, to make this safe, we're making this in two steps. So we're building first like this house. The stairs can come later because the stairs the part with houses that uh, kind of tends to mess up what you're trying to build. And this will be a straight stair, so it's just gonna be two in width, this one. Maybe we should make it free. Let's make it free. I don't know, it, it tends to look a little bit better. Okay, so we got some goblin coming here. Is this some new hairstyle for them? Beyond the Expeditor, and we also got who do we got more? We got Annie, and we also got the Hood Scale Ladder. But it seems fairly weak, I mean, Kuroda's pretty, pretty much kicking their ass. Our footman's doing a great, great job. But uh, you might have noticed even now when we just at, like episode 2, there's like a lot more enemies. There are new enemy types for sure, but it's more events like you're getting... It feels like you're getting attacked a little bit more. I know that they have changed how it works that uh, it should scale as you progress with time in this mode. So it's pretty interesting, it's gonna be really awesome to see how what's gonna happen. Wow, and I grow to level 3 already? That's really good. So she learned the power st strike. Actually, it's power spike, I guess. This powerful 
Overhead swing deals double damage, that's pretty awesome. I'm not sure how long like the cooldown is for it. I'm not sure if you can even see it. She basically would do it from time to time. So that's good, we defeated them. So let's continue with our little product here. But yeah, we can make the stair go in here in the middle. I'm removing this from the beginning. We could have maybe skipped it and just, you know, kept the floor here and removed it after. That could be a possibility as well. But uh, this is the way that I'm going to do it for now at least. So I have windows there, we're gonna have windows here. Uh, we can actually have windows on the top floor here because the stair is not gonna go in the way there. So we're just gonna make sure that uh, we go for like the same same theme as I got it for the other side to make it look pretty good. So it should be like this. I think it was four in between if I'm not wrong. Yeah, that's correct. That's pretty nice. Okay, so the stair is gonna go on this side. We can put windows here, here however. We might want to have like an extra door somewhere, I'm not sure. The entrance is going to be a pretty like small door. But I'm thinking about having like some extra entrance or exit for this house to be honest. So I think I'm going to put it there. Maybe we should... Here might be better. And then I think we will take a double door. And we can have it here. I think that's gonna look pretty good and pretty interesting to have more than one door, so. So let's see how we're gonna do the lower part of this. I do wanna have a few windows. Let's see. Let's do it like that. I think that looks pretty good. Might wanna have a window there, but I think I actually will skip it for that side this time. So let's see, three in between, four in between. So this side we gotta be careful as well because we're gonna have we gonna have the stairs here, so I gotta think about that. So these are gonna be fine. We can have one at this side as well. At least one. Probably even one more. So like that should be pretty pretty safe to have it like that. We might need to make this longer, we will see as we go. So, I think we're kinda, kinda done with this. We're not gonna put like any furniture as we do in this. So we're gonna put that in afterwards. Oh, it's already becoming night. And there's a new battle coming. So see, 32 wood, 33 windows, that's a lot. And two different doors. This is gonna be a huge, huge house to build. But it's gonna be looking pretty awesome once it's done. Where do we have this enemy? They have a camp over here. We might actually want to send Kuroda over here. So we're gonna give an attack command, send her over there, and we get an error message. Something about uh, they don't like this thing, I guess. Can I attack him? I'm gonna check if we do. We do have a Kuroda on this party. Can we use that move one? So it seems like the, uh, the attack commands are bugging out for you for the moment. So yes to do this, I'm gonna do a quick save and a quick load and we're gonna be right back. Okay, so we're back after the save and load. So now we're gonna try the attack command once again. So let's hopefully this is gonna be work. We might have to like remake this group. So let's see, attack command, attack that goblin over there. Okay, so we're getting a message again. Remove marker, in function destroy, stuff like that. Do we still have like an old? Attack command. So I'm gonna remove Kuroda from there for the moment. We're gonna go to part number two. I'm gonna try to add her. And uh, this might be working, I'm not sure if it will. Okay, it do work. So I think maybe there's some bug. This is a real early version of this. So I think it might be that if you, for example, select like attack this dude and um, they attack it and the, the thing, the flag, gets like destroyed because you killed the person. I think that might have caused an issue with this. So maybe that made so it bugged out so. But yes, that's just ideas, it might be whatever so. A caravan? Give me two farmer hoes for st one stone bracer. 
The thing is that, you know, our trade is coming back very, very soon, in three hours. So, I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna disline that one. And we're just gonna wait for the trader to be back in three hours. Because we're gonna give him six farmers hoe and we get two stone malls. And those stone malls are used for the footman. So it's gonna be a nice upgrade. Not a huge one, but a pretty good one. So let's try to add that again. I wonder how we actually... Okay, so once they reach the flag point, like if I put it there, it's gonna get removed once they corrode against it. That's pretty nice. I was thinking before, you know, we get this so we can send them like guard his position, attack everything that gets in the way. But I think it would be pretty interesting if we could actually... Like, okay, you have this path and you're gonna go to this and here and here. So you could set up like a patrolling path. I think that would be a really good idea, so... I don't know what you guys think. Would you guys like to have like a patrolling path that uh, the people could follow? I'm not sure how you actually remove this one, by the way. Not sure how you do that. Maybe I have to do an attack command and it gets removed. Now I have double double flags going on here, guys. Or is it for two different? Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here. We're gonna reload the interface. Yeah, so there, there are some problems with this remove marker, I guess. So, for now at least, to solve the temper, we're gonna remove Corona from <laughs> party number two. If I can get into it. Let me get into it. Remove. Corona, you're gonna be in this part instead. I can't add her. Where's she going? Did she, <laughs> did she decide to join her own party? What's going on? Okay, she's in part number two now, at least. Oh, we got some new enemies, guys! Little Stone Golem! They look pretty awesome, too. Pretty nice. Oh, we actually get stone from them. So that's pretty cool. So she's walking over to this again. No! Oh, the food's going down, guys. The food's going down. We gotta sort that out. Yeah, we're gonna do save and a load again. We're gonna try a thing, actually. So, I'm gonna bring up the console, Control shift c And uh, I'm gonna try to kill the hold marker, because you see that I, I can select it. So we killed it, and uh, let's see what is gonna happen after we did that. It's almost like she still belongs in some old party, I don't know. Yeah, hopefully it will sort itself out, maybe for the next video. So hopefully she will be able to, you know, defend our town, so... It's not going exactly like I wanted, but, you know, keep in mind this is a really, really early version with this new marker, so... If you have any suggestions for how we can maybe potentially solve this, feel free to drop a suggestion. And uh, I'm gonna try it out. So we're gonna move some people into this house here, over here. I think it's gonna maybe be enough to have like two people living up here. I think if we go for more, it's just gonna look a little bit clogged up. I really want them to have a little bit of space to move around as well. And I guess downstairs we can have like, uh, I guess one or two. I think we can go for two people. And we, you know, we might change uh, the beds which we have in these houses later on, as we get more houses. So that would be four beds inside the house at least. Definitely gotta get these logs down. And drop some logs up here, so we gotta get those down. Seems they're done with like the lower part of this house. So soon they're gonna begin with uh, the upper part, hopefully. I think we might need to get uh, maybe a few more like tables going on here. So let's add at least one more table and uh, two more chairs. So they can enjoy the food a little bit more than they're doing for the moment. And uh, like I said here, we do have a little bit of problem with food. Uh, we're not getting enough food. So we might need to get an, a second farmer. 
but we might also need to get a bigger field and grow things. So we, I'm gonna grow more corn this one. I have three quick grown crops here, but we also get corn here. But we're gonna grow a little bit more corn over here as well. But I'm a little bit surprised that we got that little amount of food left. Because in general that hasn't really been a problem with the food, not for me at least, it hasn't been. But we don't have a trapper this time, and that's something that we're definitely gonna have to get. So let's see, we're gonna name also, we got some uh, different name suggestions, so Lissy here is gonna be named today. So Lissy is gonna be Rhea, so thanks for joining the town, and we're also gonna join Luca, which uh, is gonna be an old request for Alpha 13. So Luca here, this is gonna be, this is gonna be Zodiac, so finally you're in the game, man, so if you're watching this video. Glad to have you in my town. It did take quite a while, but it do take quite a while because, you know, we can't get as many heartlings as we want to have it, so. Okay, so just starting on the second floor, that's really, really nice. So we can remove this ladder since they removed all the logs that got stuck up there. I'm not sure if I'm gonna add something like a fence that, you know, protects people from falling down here. I haven't fully decided yet. I might do that. Depends what you guys think about it. It's nothing that we really need super much. But one thing that I think that we should do at least is to plan the road a little bit. And we have many options to do this. We can either go basic road, do it like this. Or we can, for example, you know, have it like this and, um, uh, for example, add like some kind of outline. It doesn't have to be this color or anything, but we can make it in this way as well. I think I might do with an outline. Okay, so it seems like Kuro is doing her job at least, but she's really hungry. She needs to get food, guys. So that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Here's one advantage I see for having these uh, a lot of windows like this. They don't have to build and put blocks in all this space. So that saves a lot of time for that, but the carpenter is going to have a lot more work to do. But I mean, we, we, we really, really, really must solve this. So I'm going to try to solve it, and we will see what happens. So I think that I might have temporarily solved it, so at least that Karoda can survive. I did promote her to become a normal worker again, and I will re-promote her soon again, so she can be doing her duties as a footman, but for now we just can let her lie down there a little bit. So I'm gonna go and report this by later on, so developer can hopefully fix it pretty soon. So let's see here for the road that I was talking about before. I think that I wanna have a different road. We might actually do this in, um, you know, with stone. So maybe we should have, should have, I like to have like free and width, I don't know, I kinda like it. And the thing is that we could go and make the road like this and we can add other things later on. I think I will actually go for this road and I'm keeping one space for having an outline for the road later on. So we gotta make sure that, okay, we can actually like go all the way like this along this house. Should be pretty fine with that, like that. Okay, so we're getting some goblins in. Okay, the food is going a little bit better. I'm gonna try to promote Corrode again to become our soldier. And hopefully it will not be messing up. It might become messed up again, I don't know. I was, I, you know, I just wanted her to at least get a little bit of food on her belly, so... So it seems like she's fighting again, at least. She's still hungry, so she probably hasn't eaten anything. And she's still kicking ass, so she's doing good. Doing pretty good. Trying to steal my shares, are you? But let's see what she's gonna do. Awesome, Kuroda, you're fetching food, that's awesome. I really don't wanna, want someone to die for a reason like that. So, lesson learned from this. It's a really awesome feature, but uh, it's not very stable for now. It's really, really early stages of the whole thing, so. So, we're gonna plan this road a little bit more. Just gonna connect it all the way into the door like that. And uh, I guess we can go. Don't wanna go too close to this because we have scaffolding. 
and I really don't want to like mess something up with that. Invaders. Oh, there comes some stone golems again. I really like that we actually get resources from them. That's, that's really awesome. Yeah, Corrode is definitely wrecking these dudes. So another house that we're gonna do is actually for the farmer. So the farmer is gonna have a very own house. We're gonna have, you know, a lot of supplies hanging around and such like that. We're gonna chop down a few more trees. And also, like said in the comments, we might actually do and, you know, grow some trees. We actually had the possibility to grow trees. We can grow the oak trees in this one, so. And I think we should actually, like, get a second farmer, because I think the farmer don't have enough time to do things. So, I think I'm gonna go for Emil Emilia Grail, who's gonna be our second farmer. She has a good body, so she should move around pretty quick. And I think the first farmer... We might make it to, like, a cook in the future, because uh, the first farmer has a little bit higher in... in the mind. Oh, and here's little Banto picking up some... Carrots, I guess. So I'm gonna eat some carrots today, it seems. Nice. Let's move down. I think we're gonna move this. So we're gonna have it down in this corner now. This is like the piling up trash corner. That's uh, <laughs> not supposed to look like this in the end, but uh, it's a good place to keep things in the beginning, I guess. Let's see how you're doing here. I think they're just busy eating, so I think they're gonna get back to work pretty soon again, I hope so. Yeah, they should. For sure. Oh, they actually... <laughs> they're actually using the scaffolds and stuff to get up here, that's pretty nice. So let's see if we can actually plant some uh, farmer's house here. It's gonna be a pretty, like, simple house. I think this farmer's house, they don't really need to be looking that extraordinary, to be honest. It just gonna look, you know, like a farmer's house. And we might, maybe? I'm not sure. I, l I like to have these <laughs> dark walls, I just like them. And the roof is gonna be... Maybe we should go, should we go for the yellow one? Actually, this time I'm gonna go for brown roof for it. Maybe we should go for yellow one. It make, it make, you know, the house stick out a little bit more from everything else. We could, though, you know, go for, like, a um, red roof or a blue one. Might go for a red one. This is also a new thing that I haven't tried out yet, so... You might have seen my videos, you know, make towers and castles and things. There's, like, a built-in roof for doing that. Isn't that awesome? I mean, I would probably do this a lot on my own still. But uh, it's a really, really good hand feature for the game, that's for sure. So red roof for this, and in the top we're gonna have a window. I just think it looks good to have in, you know, I don't know what that is called, the thing up there. Probably have some certain name. So, you know, it would be divided, you have like the low floor and up there it could be. And uh, there would be like this um, dry grass and stuff, you know. Hay balls and stuff. And we can have a uh, double door for this, it's gonna look the best. And really no windows at the side of this. But I think we will wait, you know, to build it until this is fully done. We don't really want to mess too much things up. Okay, a merchant. So maybe we want to buy and sell a few things here, actually. Hey, by the way, did I miss the trader? I might have missed the trader, maybe I did. Gonna see soon. So uh, selling a few stuff, I definitely want to buy workers' outfits because they make the, your people move around quicker. And we might want to make an uh, buy one of those for our soldier, one of those outfits. So there we go, two works outfits and one for the soldier as well. So that's gonna be nice. Invaders? Oh, there's an untamed wolf coming in. I'm really happy that they are so much, you know, so much weaker than the tamed goblin wolves. The tamed go goblin wolves, they're really dangerous and 
You know, they really scare the crap out of your people really easily. You really need to have a really high spirit for your hardlings, which you can see in here. Which affects um, the courage of your people. So doing a pretty good job at that. Um, I think we could start to make the road. I think we should have enough time with that now, hopefully. And having these two farmers, I think that's gonna help really, really much. You know, and once we get like a cook cone, that's gonna give even more food, so that's gonna be really, really awesome. But I mean, this is definitely starting to take shape, guys. What do you guys think? I mean, we did experience some bugs with these flags. Hopefully they're gonna like get sold pretty quick and so on. But uh, I mean, it, overall it's going pretty good. I like this alpha so far and I really like the ID with this, so... But guys, this is gonna be it for today with Stoneheart. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode. If you wanna watch more, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And like this video if you like it. And I hope to see you guys very, very soon again. And feel free to drop your heartling suggestions for names so I can add them to the game eventually. So guys, have a great day. Take care.